नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ न्यूज बुलेटिन हैव अ लुक ऑन द हेडलाइंस हॉट मेटल टैपिंग कमेंसेस इन द रीबिल्ट ब्लास्ट फर्नेस वन ऑफ रॉकेला स्टील प्लांट Second entrance gate of Rorkela railway station constructed by Rorkela steel plant inaugurated by Union Minister of Tribal Affairs And students of Deepika Ispat Shiksha Sadan of Rorkela steel plant shine in class 10 board examinations Now the news in detail. Hot metal tapping commenced from the rebuilt blast furnace one Parvati of Sale Rorkela steel plant. Parvati, the blast furnace one, was a harbinger of progress and prosperity in the region since it was dedicated to the nation on 3rd February 1959 by the then President of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. The blast furnace was put down on 5th August 2013 for total rebuilding. All together erected on the old foundation the furnace in its new incarnation is bigger and better in every way while the production capacity of the furnace has been more than double it has now better cooling facility enhanced refractory lining life superior system to feed raw material through the BLT and improved top pressure facility Improved techno economics is another key feature of the furnace while pulverized coal injection will reduce the dependence of the plant on imported coal lower coke rate and production of gas with the higher calorific value would bring down the overall cost of production substantially besides another significant benefit is the improvement in the carbon footprint the new furnace has been installed with minimum investment by using not only the old foundation but also by the continuing the usage of the old stock house hopper bunker and slag granulation facility the old tracks have been slightly modified to accommodate the two tap holes while the blt top charging system from the dismantled blast furnace 2 has been modified and used in blast furnace 1 The new coal dust injection system 2 has been installed in the existing CDI building of Blast Furnace 4 with a new waste gas recovery system, new dust catcher comprising modern cyclone separator, new single tower scrubber type, gas cleaning plant and closed loop cooling facility in place. The furnace is far more environment friendly than most of the other furnaces of the country. While Center for Engineering and Technology of Sale was the consultant for the project, a consortium comprising Messrs. Danieli Corus, BV, Messrs. SR Projects India Limited, and Messrs. Danieli Corus India Private Limited provided the technology. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO of Orkala Steel Plant, has said, "With the blowing in of the blast furnace one, a firm launch pad is ready for RSP to take a quantum leap in its performance. RSP has already turned around since the third quarter of 2017-18. With the state-of-the-art blast furnace one, RSP team is ready to create new benchmarks in productivity and profitability in the current year." A magnificent entrance gate to the Rorkela railway station constructed near Gopabandhu Palli and Timber Colony of Sale Rorkela steel plant was inaugurated by Mr Jewel Oram Union Minister of Tribal Affairs Government of India on 10th May Mr N K Samantrai GM Town Administration RSP Mr A K Hemram Additional Divisional Railway Manager Mr A K Agarwal Senior Divisional Safety Officer Mr B Prashantha Kumar DCM SC Railway Mr P K Sahu DGM in charge Town Engineering Mr P M Behra DGM CSR Mr Mangal Oram DGM TEWS of RSP along with many senior officers and employees of Town Engineering Town Services and CSR departments of RSP Railway Police and SC Railway were present on the occasion 
This second entrance gate to the Rorkela railway station has been constructed at an expenditure of around Rs 30 lakhs by Rorkela steel plant. Spread over a span of 12 meters and with a height of 6 meters, the striking gate is constructed with RCC foundation with columns along with pipe supports over column. Beautiful tiling work has also been done on RCC column areas. It is worth mentioning here that under the guidance of Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO RSP, a number of developmental works are being carried out in the steel city that has not only added to the beauty of the city but also to the convenience of the citizens. Some such jobs are repair of the arterial roads, LED lighting in the roads, maintenance of quarters, improvement of market complexes, etc. Earlier, RSP has constructed a public toilet in front of the station main gate to be used by the commuters as well as the general public. Students of Deepika Ispath Shiksha Sadhan, the free school run by Rorkela Steel Plant for the poor and underprivileged children of the steel city, have performed remarkably well in the class 10 board examination conducted by Board of Secondary Education, Odisha. Anusuya Sahu has topped the school by securing grade A2, followed by Sujata Sahu, notching up grade B1 and Anu Kumbhar with grade B2. A total of nine students passed the matriculation examination with first division in the grade A2, B1 and B2. Eleven students have secured second division with grade C. Fourteen got third division of which 13 secured grade D and one secured grade E. Mrs. Savita Kumari, President Deepika Mahila Sangati, felicitated the students in a function organized in the school premises on 10th May. She congratulated the students and the teachers of Deepika Ispath Shiksha Sadhan for the outstanding performance of the students. She exhorted the students to go ahead in their academic pursuits with full commitment and dedication. Also present on the occasion were Mrs. Minakshi Pradhan, Mrs. Runa Das, Mrs. Rekha Agarwal, all Vice Presidents of DMS, Mr. N.K. Samantrai, GMTA, Mr. P.M. Behra, DGM in charge, CSR, Mrs. Anindita Mahapatra, Senior Manager, CSR, Mrs. Lina Das, Secretary, DMS, Members of Governing Body of DMS, Mr. S.K. Samal, Headmaster, Deepika Ispath, Shiksha Sadhan, Mr. S.K. Mishra, School Administrator and Students, Teachers and Staff of the School. The dignitaries congratulated and encouraged the students to study hard for carving a better future. Earlier, Mrs. Lina Das welcomed the gathering and coordinated the program. And with this, we come to the end of this edition of News Bulletin. Namaskar.